Trevor Sales. Number 71, offensive lineman. And you're in the bullseye. Let's go, split him to win him on two. One, two, split him to win him, let's go. From Northern Illinois University, welcome to Bullseye Inside UB Athletics. I'm Paul Peck, voice of Buffalo Bulls football, joined by radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. This was a tough one for the Buffalo Bulls, but a tough one in many ways, Jim, because I think you and I are of the agreement that we may have very well seen the best team in the Mid-American Conference in watching the Northern Illinois Huskies. Well, the Huskies came in here and they were determined to make Buffalo one-dimensional, and they did, and they were physical, and, and they were determined, and they really took over this football game. But all that said, this wasn't the performance that Jeff Quinn and the Bulls were hoping for. And as we send you to the post game interviews, you'll hear the frustration and even a little anger in the voice of the Buffalo head coach. We got to look at ourselves first and foremost, um, you know, in all three phases and every single player and every single coach. That's nowhere near what kind of football team I expect. As a team, we're very disappointed, but we're not di discouraged in, in, in any way. And I think that's the most, most important thing right now, just knowing that um, from, from inside the team, I know we have coaches that love us and, and care about us, and we just want to prove to them that um, we're not going to quit. You know, we're going we're gonna to keep fighting, and we're, and we're going to bounce back. I'm 100% confident in that. You know, we were out there you know, just being focused on the ball and just make sure you catch it even though it's wet. So I feel like, yeah, we, you know, we just got to keep working and just keep getting better you know, so we can turn this thing around. No one's alone in that locker room, you know, it's on every single one of us, you know, and it starts with me. We will keep pushing and we will bounce back and we're, 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 we're going to win a lot of football games, I'm confident. Back in Northern Illinois following the Buffalo Bulls loss to the Northern Illinois Huskies, I'm Paul Peck along with Jim Kubiak. There were some positives in this game for the Buffalo Bulls. Let's start with the passing of Alex Zordich, who shook off a couple of uh, subpar passing games to have one of his better throwing games of the year. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, 18 of 29 did a really nice job moving the team in the first three quarters and was plagued by a couple interceptions late in the game, but overall a much more accurate performance from Alex Zordich. And he may have found himself a new target along with Alex Newts. It was a, a particularly good day, a career high day for Devin Hughes with nine catches and over 100 yards. Yeah, Devin Hughes really emerged today. And, you know, Buffalo needs to have a second guy. Alex Newts can't carry the torch himself. And Devin Hughes comes up, nine catches, over 100 yards. Good to see him step up into this, this game. And another good day for Khalil Mack. Ten tackles in this game, a tackle and a half for loss as he moves ever closer to the UB career record for tackles for loss. He may still wind up leading the nation after this one. Khalil Mack always seems to continue to make plays out there. You know, every time you watch him, it's, it's a joy to watch. He's so physical and dynamic, and he makes plays against everybody that he plays against, and, you know, he's fun to watch. And, you know, defensively, they had a tall order. This Jordan Lynch does a great job on the perimeter and inside, and, you know, that's tough for a defense. You and I had a chance to listen to the postgame comments of Bulls center Trevor Sales after this one, and I thought he was dead on when he said they're certainly disappointed about the way things went. It wasn't how they expected to go. They had so much confidence as an offensive line coming off the game at Ohio, but they're not discouraged. They know that things are getting better here. The future remains bright, and it was kind of an interesting uh, to see Trevor Sales' upbeat attitude even after a tough day. Yeah, and he's the leader of this offensive unit, especially the linemen, and, you know, they came in, and Northern Illinois was very physical, and it's a three-game road trip. You have to keep it in perspective. There's a second half of this season to play, and I like the positive attitude to Trevor Sales. Well, that second half of the season will send us home for a month. Four straight home games for the Buffalo Bulls. It starts with the Pitt Panthers. Going to always be a tough test, but it is good to get back home and get back in the natural settings, and I think we'll see a better Bulls team because of that. Well, I agree with you. It's always great to play at home, and now there's four weeks right in a row where Buffalo can settle in, and really you look at, at a season in, in two seasons, the first half and the second half. Buffalo has a great opportunity here in the second half with a homecoming game against Pitt. It is homecoming. It is Saturday. Kickoff at 3.30. True Blue Days should be fun at UB Stadium.